Hey guys, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. This is Survival Bob, and today, today we're going to talk about some secret hidden systems in No Man's Sky. So uh, I've been wanting to do a video about this for, I don't know, almost a year now since I discovered it. Now these have been around for three or four years. Some of the old school players know about them. Uh, but unfortunately, the main way that people got here was patched out. So I'm kind of glad I didn't do a video on it because uh, it would have been not good anymore so uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you some of these systems i'm going to show you how they work and uh, i'm going to offer you uh, a way to get there so stick with me on this now uh this is not my ship this is uh I, if you if you've been following survival bob and you know that i'm looking for my 99 problem ship uh, it's got a green 99 and that, that that's not it this is monica so we're going to take monica out and uh let me show you where we are now, if you go here uh, to the Discoveries tab, uh, you can see that this system was discovered by USAGI, USAGI, USA, a very patriotic fellow uh, who I'm guessing was a GI, uh, about three years ago. Now, most of these systems were discovered by this person. If you know this person or you are this person, please let me know. I'd love to talk to you about this. Um, but uh, these systems were discovered three years ago I'm going to show you how they were discovered, uh, my guess anyway. Uh, but there's also, since the Origins updates, planets have been added to these systems. So some of these planets uh, were not found yet. So they were uh, discoverable, and I was able to discover and make some discoveries on some new planets in these secret systems, which is pretty cool because I got my name on them now forever. Uh, but I, haven't, I don't think I've explored all of them. So uh, let me show you what I mean by secret. Uh, and uh, go to the galaxy map. Now, this may crash my game. Um, but if you look in the top left-hand corner, the galactic core, it says zero light years. Now, I am... Uh, it's pitch black. So, if I hit the uh, S key and back up, you can see... It starts to show you... If I go farther from the galactic core... We're now 1,800, 2,000... We keep going out to a little over 3,000, and you'll start to see some other systems. There we go. Now, I don't have a range that I can jump there, and that's actually the marker. where it, See, it's giving me the marker on where I'm supposed to go next. Uh, so, let's see if it'll let me go there. Yeah, I, I, I can't. I, I don't have enough. I, I don't have a 3,200 light year... Uh, uh, hyperdrive. I don't even know if that's possible, uh, but the closest you can get most of the time is around 3,000 light years away uh, from the center. And I don't know if it's possible to get a hyperdrive that goes that far. So, how do you get here? Well, oh sweet, I was able to get out. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot get here unless you've already been here. Uh, you cannot warp here and you cannot teleport here. Uh, if you notice the glyphs, uh, if you put these glyphs in the system, it's going to uh, say error, and it's going to take you to one of the planets just outside the center, uh, which is kind of how I discovered the one glyph method to get to the center uh, was when I was messing around with this, trying to figure out how to tell people how to get here. Uh, and if you're not familiar with that, if you just type in the first glyph, uh, you'll get an error, and it'll take you around 5,000 light years from the center, which is pretty cool. So the way you would get here previously was there was a glitch that would occasionally appear inside the teleporter. And when you go to the teleporter, you would see a base computer for a system that you should not have recognized because you probably did not have a base there. And that system was called Likholu. Yes, that's what it was called. I'm probably saying it wrong, but it's like L-I-K-H-O-L-U, uh, Likholu, okay? Anyway, uh, that system was very populated because people found it and, uh, and hit that over the years. I actually did a video on it in my origin series in a live stream where I showed people around it. It was very popular because you could buy unlimited resources at that station. It was very, very cool. Uh, so whenever you bought stuff, uh, you could just keep buying it over and over again. So it was a great place to uh, set up a base. I had built a chlorine factory there, uh, but in one of the recent updates, they patched it out so you cannot go to those bases anymore. I had one called uh, Bob's Chlorine Factory or something like that, and it is no longer in my list. Uh, so we can't get to that system, which is where people started. But I do have some other bases that are also in 
the center in different systems. And that's where I am here. So luckily I have two bases here uh, and this is in a different, this is my current system in the center and then this is a different one. So I can warp between these two, but I cannot warp to the one in Likulu, Holu, whatever. Um, so once you get here, how do you move around if you don't have bases? Well, I'll show you that next. All right, now as I was exploring, I, uh, I found this planet, which had some cool diplos on it right there. Um, and so I threw a base computer down in case I ever wanted to come back and get one of them, which I did. And this planet is also in a system that is in the center and was just also discovered by the same person three years ago. Now, I'll show you see still in the uh, galactic core in a different system so how do you get here well uh, you have to go to the anomaly and you have to purchase an emergency warp device once you have an emergency warp device you can activate it in one of these systems and go to a different system all right so I've done this for a while and there's a few bases out here. There's somebody's cobalt mine. But there's not much out here at all. Some of these planets are new because they added new planets to every system with the Origins update. So these old systems got new planets in them. So you may discover a planet for the first time in one of these hidden systems and be able to put your name on it. Uh, now, emergency warping once you're here uh, will get you from system to system. And I was doing this trying to get back to Likulu, uh, or Likiholu, or I, I'm, I'm never going to get it. Uh, trying to get back to that original system uh, where I had my chlorine base. But uh, I haven't been successful in that yet. So I want to invite you guys out here to this system, to these secret systems, in order to uh, start exploring yourself and throwing down base computers. Now, this may get me in trouble with Hello Games. I don't know. If, it, if this is not what you want, I'm sorry, guys. This is an exploration game. And this is a cool place to explore that not many people can go and explore. So, uh, if you want to come here, uh, there's two ways you can do it. Uh, one, I'm going to live stream this on Sunday, August 15th. Uh, join my live stream. I will have my network connection open. And uh, I will uh, be accepting uh, friends. I'll give you my friend code. You can come join the game with me. Um, I'll get you here. Then I'll boot you out and bring in another group of people. And we'll bring as many people as we can out here during that live stream Sunday afternoon, August 15th. After that, I will open up a section in my Discord uh, for people to discuss this and people who want to explore this uh, area of Euclid that has previously been unexplorable. Uh, and hopefully the people in that section will help you get here as well, because I'm not going to keep doing it. Uh, we may do another live stream at some point in the future. Uh, stay tuned for that. Make sure you got notifications set, all that jazz. But these are the secret systems of No Man's Sky. Most of them have been discovered, but... If you've got an emergency warp and you can get here either through my live stream or through my Discord, or if you've got another friend here already uh, and you can get here on your own, get here, start emergency warping, and see where you can get. Now, I was told that you used to be able to get here by emergency warping from one of the outside uh, perimeter planets. Uh, I don't have a hyperdrive with a 3,000 uh, light year range, so I haven't been able to do that. If you do or you know that that's possible or not possible, let me know and come on down to the center and let's explore some stuff together. Guys, this has been Survival Bob and these are the secret hidden systems in No Man's Sky. Hope you found this useful and uh, enjoyable. If you want to learn more about these systems, check my Discord. There is a link in the description below and uh, join me on the live stream tomorrow. Oh, and I almost forgot if you're going to be a Bob, have fun with it. And uh, if you're going to be an explorer or a traveler, Get on down here to the center with me, and let's explore this together. We'll see you next time, guys. Take care.